so let's go ahead and start off talking about Shogun. So we'll give our scores and then and our overall thoughts on the first four episodes, and then we'll give a spoiler warning before we go into any spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it. I'll go ahead and give my score just overall for the first four episodes and my thoughts first, and then, okay. then I'll kick it over to you. So for Shogun, uh, the first four episodes, I am absolutely loving this show. I think so far I would give it like a nine out of 10. It's been really interesting. I love the time period and I'm not that familiar with the time period, especially in Same. Japan at that time. Yeah, so it's really cool seeing all the political intricacies between the English, the Portuguese, the Japanese. I just, mm -hmm. I cannot wait to watch more of it. I, I got through the first four episodes and I kept being like, oh, I want to watch more. <laughs> so I've been really enjoying it. I think that's about all I'll say before we get into spoilers. So you can go ahead and give your score now. Yeah, uh, I'm in the same boat. I'll give it a nine out of 10. I'm really really enjoying it i don't know much about the time period either so like for me a lot of it is like unknown i'm sure they're obviously following history maybe are they following are some of these characters like based off of true i think they people? might be and i know that there is a book written by james clavell okay. that i kind of want to check out but i don't know for sure how much how historically accurate it is yeah either or it's super interesting yeah. I i'm totally into the whole samurai swords and even, even it has a little bit of the, you know, the sea, like ships and which I don't, you never watch a show, but Black Sails. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I have. That's a great show if you ever need something to watch. Nice. But it kind of has that, that ship, you know, he's like a seaman, the barbarian. Yep. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm really liking it. Nine out of 10, specifically episode three and four, and it's, especially episode four, I absolutely loved. Yeah. Like, I felt like it just got better and better and better each episode. I agree, yeah. But yeah, well, that's all I really can say, too, until we get into spoilers. All right, so if you haven't watched the show, this is your spoiler warning. We both gave it nines, so we highly recommend it. So go check it out and come on back. Uh, but if you have seen it, then we're going to get into spoilers and talk more in depth about the episodes. Okay. Okay. So uh, first and foremost, yeah, uh, the ahead. Kate girl. It's a lot better in this show. <laughs> yes, she is. And, uh, Monarch. Yes, she is. She's doing a really good job. And did you notice that her dad in Monarch is also in this show? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, oh. Ish Ishido, which I thought That's was right, kind of yeah, funny. She, she <laughs> but no, what, what were you going to say? I was going to say that I, I agreed with you that it just kept getting better and better. My first notes here is that the first episode started off kind of slow. It wasn't bad, um, but it was definitely a little slower than the other episodes. Yeah, I was a little confused, too, with just the character. You know, it's like the first episode of a show. They're introducing a lot of characters. Yeah. Half of it is subtitles, you know, so. Yeah, and I feel like it, it also makes sense because he's... The main character, the Anjin, the Barbarian, whatever you want to call him, the Blackthorn, mm -hmm. um, he's like a fish out of water. Yeah. yeah. So he's like... Yeah, that's true. We're stuck with him. He knows nothing about what's going on, pretty much. He's captured. He's in jail. He's trying to figure out why they're like shuttling him around all the kind of. I think that's some of my favorite thing of the show so far, is just him kind of learning the culture and like kind of being fascinated in a way, or talking crap about it. Yeah, I think that works really well, where he just won't shut up. But most of the time, nobody <laughs> else has any idea what he's saying, except for like one person yeah. who's like, I'm not going to translate that. <laughs> it's like uh, John Blackthorne's like a perfect person to kind of see it through it. Yeah. <laughs> what are they saying? He has like a potty mouth, right? A bad mouth. Yeah. Uh, it's so funny seeing um, that next to how serious everyone else is. Yeah. You know, like in Japan, all the Japanese people are like super serious, have all these customs, and he's just there spouting off all like, kinds he's of like, filth. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like there's some things where he, like, he's just like, that's a dumb custom or something. <laughs> I'm he's yeah. also fascinated with some other aspects yeah. so it's, it's interesting the special effects and the, like the way it looks it looks great too like it, yeah it, it it looks better than 95 percent of the shows out there yeah i agree even just like the opening intro i sometimes skip mm -hmm. intros but this one i really like with the sand and then it turns into like yeah. the water with the ship on it. It looks really good. It looks really good and the music gets more intense. And yeah. Yeah, I really like it. The other thing I noticed with the show too is uh the acting is all good. Like I I've liked all the acting. And I saw some people complaining that when they speak uh Portuguese is just in English. And I'm like, well if you think about it like you're kind of seeing it through John Blackthorne's point of view. So yeah. it makes sense to listen to whatever language he's listening to. You know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he can understand it. So just to make it easier, instead of having like 90% of, yeah, 90 subtitles now, it's just like 50% or something. Yeah. I don't, and I saw there's like a, an English dub version on Hulu. And I'm like, wait, really? 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, if you go on Hulu, it, there's a separate section. There's an English dub version of the show. I'm like, oh, I don't. To me, that that was odd because like there is already English in the show. So like, why do you need to? I, I don't know. I, I I feel like that would I make just, it confusing because part of it is that nobody can understand him. So like, I f yeah, I feel I like the know. yeah, I feel like it's like important that we don't understand them. So like, I don't yeah. know. I feel like it kind of ruins a little bit of like the immersion, but. Yeah, I guess each their own. Yeah, some people don't like subtitles, so I guess they're just trying to appeal to everybody. Yeah, which I don't mind subtitles at all either. I, I do. don't. Yeah, I don't mind it at all. Another character, I really, like. So, how do you how do you feel about like all the characters? Obviously, we talked about John Blackthorn, yeah. or the Barbarian. They call him, yep. or what's his new name now? Anjin Pilot. They call him a bunch of stuff. He also got that other title. Yeah. I forget what it's called. That title, that, yeah, special title or whatever. But yeah, how do you feel about like the other characters besides him? I really like them. I, I know who my favorite character is and it is Toranaga hands down I think he is such a cool character him being like sly and cloak and dagger and in episode three when he pulled that escape with his switching out with his wife him just being one step yes. ahead that's yep. that's been my favorite character Blackthorn's up there I, I like his fish out of water yeah. kind of storyline but I I'm really liking Toranaga but I I think all the acting has been really good Mariko Toranaga Shido Blackthorn all of them it, if Rodriguez I really like Rodriguez too <laughs> he's funny well yeah, Rodriguez is funny <laughs> I liked the uh he was the one who that was kind of guiding or bringing him back right on the ship at the beginning yeah and let him live where uh, yeah, Blackthorn I, saved I him, him and then yeah he, he let him through he's like, so even now but I kind of like it because he, he was funny because he's like I don't care if he dies <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like he almost has a respect that he's like kind of likes him. How do you feel about um Kashiagi or, or oh the is that the one who's under Toranaga? It's who's the kinda... uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the kid's uncle in he's... that village. He's definitely uh, he's kind of playing both sides, yeah, kind of in a way. I feel like he's trying to be like Toranaga, but in the wrong way. He's trying to like be sneaky and underhanded, but I, I don't think it's going to work out for him. I think he's one of those characters no. where he tries to be smart and it gets him killed, probably. Yeah, he's, it's interesting because is he like he's not necessarily bad, right? He's just like playing both sides in a way to try to stay alive. And I think his <laughs> I, acting I like has it. been good with that too. Like he's shown that that say, actor's like in a good character, like. He's an interesting character because it's like I don't like hate him, but I also like, dude, what side do you want? In episode four, too. Oh yeah, that, the ending of that one. That was the first moment, like the oh shit moment for me. Like in yeah. a show, you know, how you have that moment in a show. Like this is the first one, kind of like Game of Thrones was. You know, the moment I'm talking about. Yeah, that this definitely like, was a, a similar moment, and just to to talk about that moment i did not expect because it was i think it was toronaga's son right who kind of went rogue and yeah it's yeah yoshi Yuki's? It's Yoshi something. Oh, no, no, sorry, Yoshi. It's just Yoshi Nagakado. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, Nagakado. Yeah, it's just yep. Yoshi. I wasn't expecting that either. Yeah, that moment where the cannon comes through and hits the horse and then everything just starts exploding, that was a crazy oh, was moment. Like, oh, it was gruesome, my lord. Yeah, it was. They did not pull any punches on that one. No, like, and I knew, like, because they kind of foreshadowed that he was, you know, he said he's going to take care of it, don't tell my father. But I wasn't expecting that. You know, I thought he was just going to, I don't know, fight you know with swords or something right i didn't expect that and then of course um she his uncle or not the uncle the uh that guy kashigi or Kish, i don't remember his name i'm bad at pronouncing his name so i apologize if i'm not pronouncing these right yabushige yabushige Kashigi okay. Yabushige. Oh, Lord, I'm just calling him Cash. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, his reaction is like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's the one getting most screwed by this. So. Yeah, oh, yeah, because now he's forced to stand by, uh, by his side. Yeah. You know. Of, side, yeah. unless, unless Yoshi's like, I don't know. It, did, did Yoshi like? He obviously has the suspicions that he's that Cash is working with the other guy, but like he doesn't know for a fact or anything, right? Yeah, I agree. I don't think he knows for sure, but he definitely because of how the conversation went the day before. I think he knew something was up. So like he didn't know, no, but he like he knows something's up. So yeah. even so, like, do you think he's gonna like? What do you think he's gonna do with Cash and all I, his people? I don't know. I think it depends on what Yabushige does. 
or uh, did it show him after that started? I can't remember. Yeah, it showed him towards the end, yeah. Okay, yeah. So when he cut the guy's head off, it showed him. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, because he doesn't he looked, have... Uh, terrified. <laughs> hey, yeah, because he doesn't have proof that he was doing anything to play no, both suspicion. sides. So, I don't know. Now, how do you think his father is going to react to that? I think his hand's kind of been forced. He has to now go to war, I think. He's probably not going to be happy yeah. about it. I'm sure he was setting up some things that probably are ruined now or have to go faster. Hey, I'm glad Yoshi, I liked how he did that. At least someone kind of senses what's going on. But yeah. I mean, maybe he took it a little too far. But I don't know, though. At the same time, like, I don't know, that's such a delicate thing. This is why I love shows like this. Yeah, I know. You have to think in a long haul, like the political side of it, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I feel like Toronago was setting some stuff up that probably would have worked better mm -hmm. but yeah. <laughs> but now yeah, so I just want to fast track it you know yeah with violence with violence i guess before all that so episode one was mainly just him kind of they, they get his ship yeah figuring out he, what the heck's going on yeah that's pretty much all right oh and then the nephew of cash he was kind of a douchebag to him yeah because they're kind of, you know they're treating like crap and then that's when Oh, me. Okay, there you go. So it's pretty much this episode is pretty, yeah, pretty much him figuring things out and kind of going through the ringer. And then it's showing uh, that main city. Osaka. Osaka. So like this first episode, I was a little confused because there's they introduced so many characters and yeah. like so many concepts. And again, I don't know anything about like this history time period or the culture in this time period. Nothing. I know nothing. And uh, yeah, I'm similar. So like I found it fascinating, but I was a little confused at first. But the whole thing of like, you know, there's five pretty much five people who will kind of take control as a committee until the old emperor's son comes to age it's it's very interesting concept and like the civil war of it all like one wants to control all of it or i don't know you have to have all five votes to do things it's really interesting yeah and i liked how it's set up from the beginning that toranaga is a target and the rest of them are all on ishido's side and it, it mm -hmm. makes a lot of the scenes very tense of like man he's just like fighting for his life out there trying to he, he doesn't even want the shogun title or anything he's just trying to hold on and not die yeah, yeah pretty much and, uh, shoot, that first scene they showed remember and then they put him in the committee and pretty much said they're gonna vote on what they're gonna do with him yeah and then his one of his people like lashed out and then like he he got sentenced to die along with his kid he, i was like he oh, volunteered to commit seppuku yeah because he yeah embarrassed him and the punishment there's still a punishment of killing the kid too well yeah he said he would end his old bloodline and that's how they did it oh this that's oh yeah, I, that was like, that scene especially with Uji, the his wife that was heartbreaking yeah, but we'll talk about her just in a little bit because she she's turning into an interesting character too yeah but yeah that scene and i think they showed it again in another episode yeah or like a different perspective of it they they set up that wow. he was going to be put to death and they took the kid and then in another episode they actually did it in two or three jeez like there's stuff like that yeah because that's right because she was explained that's when uh kate whatever her name is in the show yep. mariko i think uh mariko sama right yeah mariko sama that's uh that's when she, she's explaining it to uh blackthorn again i know we mentioned before but my favorite scenes in the show are the ones of just seeing blackthorn's response to all these culture the different culture uh, what, what, what am I looking for? The, the different, cultural uh, differences. Yeah, cultural differences. There you go. Of uh, just seeing like how he reacts and his facial expressions, and then he's like he finds some beauty in it. What in episode four he went to like that pond to swim, and and was saying how it's just beautiful out here, and you know England's dirty, but there's a lot to do. But yeah, that was mostly episode one. What was episode two? I don't remember. I think that's the one where the Catholic priests might show up and translate oh, for him a bit, yeah. and, which they want him to make the map. That's right. Explain the map. Oh, and the, the the attempted assassination, right? Oh yeah. That was a that was a good scene too. Yeah, I, when when they finally got that translator, I was like, oh man, it was such a relief. It's like they could finally understand each other, even if it's just a little bit. I enjoyed it, but it's almost frustrating. Like, man, I wish they could just talk to each other. <laughs> but, yeah, um, exactly. Like. Uh. So, I mean, that's kind of the point. So they did a good job there. Yeah. And then you eventually realize that, oh, this guy, even though he did translate correctly, he's definitely not on his side. And then Mariko comes in and you're like, okay, this person is a good translator who understands what's going on, yeah, nice. isn't trying to trick him completely, at so, least. So her role, how was she in relation? So she she was just married to someone in his guard or whatever, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why she's in the inn. She was married to Buntaro. So that's why she 
she's so close to to, to him and to Tornaga, and, okay. and she knows Portuguese because she's yeah. studied under the Catholic priests, the Portugal priests. That's right. And her her husband was like not happy with it. Yeah, that was interesting seeing his reaction to her like getting more involved in Tornaga's affairs. I, I didn't like him it, that much. But he did have a, a cool death. Yeah. But he did have a cool death. That scene was a good scene, too. Yeah. I don't remember if that was episode two or three. That was three. I, was three. I, I have yeah. a hard time deciding whether episode three or episode four was my favorite because the ending of episode four was amazing. But I really liked the whole scene from when Toranaga escaped Osaka all the way to that yes. the ship part where was... he was going out of the bay. And my favorite. That's when they started building that relationship, too. Yeah. And my favorite line, I think, in the episode. It, in the episode so far was when they're almost to that fishing village and then they start getting attacked and then the people who are escorting him realize that Toranaga's there and then everybody just starts to fight each other and the people who originally okay. attacked him are just like wait are they fighting each other <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the Portuguese right they're up there yeah you're right those last for episodes three and four, I kind of have a hard time too, because that whole scene of them escaping was a very interesting scene, or, or yeah. just was it, 15, 20 minutes. I feel like that was the first time we got to see Toranaga plan something really, mm -hmm. you know, sneaky, before we kind of just heard about, talk about it, how he's like super smart and comes up with good plans and stuff, but then we actually get to see it, and we're, we're also in the point of view of like, we don't fully know what's going on. We know something's going on because yeah. Blackthorn saw the lady leave the thing they were carrying her in. And this is kind of the episode where, like, Blackthorn, you can kind of see him kind of... I, I, I don't know if he's necessarily gaining trust right now, but, like, he's helping them and they're slowly starting to, like... Especially uh, Mar... Oh my God, what's, I need to write Mariko. these names down. Mariko. Mariko. Especially her, like, as she's slowly... So I feel like starting this episode, it's like, okay, maybe he's not so bad of a dude. And I think that even goes even further in episode four. We talked a little bit about her before, but with Fuji, mm -hmm. because of, I mean, she, now that her husband's dead, she's now the Blackthorn's consort. And at first she's like, I don't need a consort. What the heck is this? But then he starts to kind of warm up to her and <laughs> tries to give her a gift, which is a nice thought. But she's like, I don't need these. <laughs> but that kind of shows that he is a good guy. He's trying his best, even mm -hmm. though he's kind of a scoundrel. He's also he also cares about people. So I like that scene a lot. Yeah, or and even the scene where the nephew wants to take his guns and she's like, give it to me. Fuji oh, yeah. said that. And then she takes it and he's the nephew's still asking for it. She just points a gun at him like, okay. <laughs> even though she probably has no idea how to use it, really. But <laughs> yeah. that, it, it worked. It worked. Blackthorn's like, okay, that was good. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where he was like, okay, I can trust this person a little bit more than I thought. Yeah, and then her slowly throughout the episode, like you said, him giving the gifts, and then she gives him her family swords, which he didn't want, but Marco said, you'd like, you should you know, take you these. Have to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <it's, laughs> yeah, I think all the characters are, are solid. And the one now, now I'm excited because before before the ending of episode four, Yoshi, he wasn't like a huge, you know, I wasn't like interested in him necessarily. But after, you know, his decision of pretty much starting a war, I'm like, oh, OK, I'm interested. Like, I'm interested to see where his character goes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, he wasn't really on my radar that much. He was kind of just there. It seemed like he was learning mm -hmm. behind his dad. But now he's taking a really big front seat in something. So yeah. I wonder if he'll yeah. live through his betrayal, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I'm very curious, too. Like, I I'm wondering, like, what's going to be the first big death? You know what I mean? Like, is it going to be Yoshi for what he did? And then, like... You know, maybe that's what gets his father to kind of get into it. Or is it going to be... Uh, I have a feeling it could be that or it could be Toranaga himself, possibly. Um, I was thinking that too. They could pull like a Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking that too, which I hope not though, because <laughs> he's such an interesting character. Or yeah, it could be, uh, what's the other guy's name? Ma Makasun or... Yabashige. 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 But the names are interesting because in Japanese they like flip the names so they put their like family name first so Yoshi so it's Yoshi Toranaga and Yoshi Nagakado um Nagakado. are the father okay. and son and so Nagakado. yeah okay oh and interesting so okay, that guy's name that. is Yabushige and his family name yeah. is Kashigi okay. yeah so yeah we we're talking about episode three and I liked all that and then obviously we talked about the boat scene them escaping and then Rodriguez you know sparing his life yeah it have killed him pretty much I love the banter yeah. between 
Rodriguez and Blackthor, and they're just like shouting back and forth on the boats. It's so funny. I do too. <laughs> and just like a Blackthorn, like, you know, when he passed through, like just his excitement, like I feel like it's contagious. Like yeah. even people can't understand him and they're like smiling, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like going up to the cannon, like, yeah, good job. Like point it there. Yeah, and they're all like, I don't know what you're saying, but yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Blackthorn just in general, and he tells like uh Marco when, when he's telling Marco, and you can tell this his soft blah 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 uh this and she's like and he's very grateful for your- <laughs> i know i love when she translates it like completely <laughs> differently it's it's great i love it but episode four i really liked episode four too because it had yeah. liked the idea of the graining you know with cannons like, so the whole deal i guess we kind of skipped it with blackthorns mm-hmm. you made a deal to train their army or men for he gets his boat and his men back which before we get to that do you think his men are still alive because he's asked a couple times and he's always gotten really evasive answers i don't know i don't think so yeah i don't think so or either. maybe a few are left maybe I, like every time he asks and yeah. that might be like a thing like in a future episode like oh you're lying to me you knew they're dead but uh, another thing i forgot to mention the end of episode three i really like that ending too of him and uh Toronaga and, uh, and i got doing the dive Toronaga, yeah, yeah. Him doing the dive in and him wanting to like to race show him this and they, i don't know they kind of he's gaining respect they found the book right or the uh yeah his the, logs uh, Portu- showing that he's a pirate yeah the portuguese gave him the book and he's like oh it will take a long time to translate <laughs> yeah. kind of scaring him pretty much you know yeah as long as he'll uh, he'll train his men and he'll yeah that was the whole deal yeah but like I like that ending, how it was just it was kind of like it was interesting. Together, like boom. yeah, I did like that. And then in the next episode, in episode four, it kind of seemed like they misunderstood what the deal was because Blackthorn was like mm-hmm. asking for his ship back and feeling like he was betrayed because he didn't get it. And Marco was like, "Well, you That's said you'd like, train." And then when he did try yeah. and train, it looked like he was way out of his depth at first. That's why he's explaining. Like, oh, I want, he was explaining like what you know England has done, and then he was explaining a war that was before he was even born <laughs> yeah and then she's like yeah maybe you should try to uh, explain something you know and that's kind of where he got to deal with the canyons yeah and then they're all kind of mocking him right like oh the canyons they're not accurate they can't hit nothing this is dependable and then, and then boom, he, boom 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 yep nails the target first try and then i thought it was funny too like at the beginning of episode four when they land you know it's all the the army and the people cheering for him oh yeah that lady's like oh we should have gotten better sake <laughs> and then he left he's like i'm gonna stay and then she's like oh we should have got cheaper, cheaper. <laughs> that was pretty funny throwaway lines yeah. <laughs> yeah. and yeah but she yeah, no, was I... not happy that they were cheering for Toranaga so much after it started oh, they started yeah. out cheering for him and then ended up cheering for Toranaga the whole time i don't know I, I really liked all the training with the cannons and then uh stuff with uh fuji the kind of relationship with with blackthorn and her yeah which i in I the know. first few episodes i felt really bad for her but i was not expecting her to become a big character and she seems like she is I so that's pretty cool yeah yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all either, like at all. So I feel like episode four, so three and four are where I started getting a little less confused and kind of feeling the vibe of the show. But specifically episode four was the episode where I was like, okay, I understand what's going on. I get, I kind of familiarizing myself with every character. Like episode four is when like I truly am like, okay. Starting to settle like, in. I get it. And uh, that's where- yeah, Similar I, to like Game of Thrones. Yeah, it is a good comparison uh, because, mm. because especially of that like shock value of, okay, this this is what kind of show yeah. it's going to be when like there's a betrayal and then stuff just starts grossly yeah, exploding and craziness kicks yeah. off yeah overall man nine out of ten i mean i'm trying to think of negatives and the, so the only really negative i wrote down was just it did start off a little slower but i mean you kind of have to for yeah. this kind of story and also just trying to remember who everyone is which also yeah again is kind of part of the story yeah it's all like in due time but it yeah. definitely starts slower like you have to invest your time you got to pay attention especially if you're watching with the dialogue right <laughs> subtitles but even regardless like you have like just you can't like be on your phone during the show or nothing like if you miss yeah. something which it does it's... a really good job of keeping my attention at least i'm like glued oh, to the sure. screen it was slower but not for me not not necessarily in a bad way it's just yeah. you know, if you're going in expecting action that's not what the show is not at like least 24/7. not right now i mean i'm sure maybe you know future seasons or finale or something i'm sure there'll be battles and stuff but like this is like you know it's 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 a slow build up and then when the action hits like you said it's like it's hard hitting but yeah i love it love the characters the special effects like it looks amazing it looks like high production it doesn't look cheap like yeah for sure it looked really 
really good. And I feel like the mm, casting, like especially for Blackthorn, has been really good. Even his voice. That's a pirate's mm -hmm. scoundrelly voice. <laughs> they could have gotten that character, like, wrong, totally. Like, yeah, they could have tried to go more like a oh. Jack Sparrow piratey like, kind of thing, but I feel like they did yeah. They did a good cast. Is Blackthorn a real pirate? It sounds like a real pirate name. Isn't it John Blackthorn? He's loosely based on the life of 17th century English navigator William Adams, who was the first Englishman to visit Japan. But I guess he's just oh. a character made from the show. With William his... Adams, so they just made it a cooler name. I John guess Blackthorn. so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I'm pumped for this is... I'm pleasantly surprised because I had only heard about the show like a few days before the first episode came out and I was like hearing really good things about it. I'm like, you know what? People are saying like this is a 10 out of 10 type of show, so I'm going to try it. Yeah, I, I had seen some previews and I was like, oh, that looks interesting, but I didn't really think that much of it. But mm -hmm. yeah, I'm really glad you pointed it out and we started watching it. So we got episode five. Well, at the time we're recording this aired today, so we'll do that for next week and Sweet. then we'll just do it weekly basis. All Sweet. Right. So we still got what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's gonna be 10 episodes i think yeah that's six more oh yeah sweet and then after the show's over i'm definitely gonna go read the book i might too yeah i'll, I'll do that too because i'll be interesting all sweet. right yeah good. Can't wait for next week. good show recommendation alex and i'm excited to keep watching it everyone go watch it it's a really good show yes and sorry i butchered a lot of the names <laughs> give me time we'll get better at it yeah i've got a little bit more practice at japanese names from watching anime but it's still, <laughs> that's it's still true. not easy <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny